old school stereo fans. This is Big D from OldSchoolStereo.com. I'm back today with some more old school car audio masterpieces from Fosgate. The two amps I'm going to show off today are the Fosgate The Punch PR250 and the PR220. And these are prior to Rockford um, joining Fosgate. These are actually pre-1980. These are approximately 1978 to 1979. And I brought the great audio magazines there with the car stereo buyer's guides from 78 and 79. And I'll show you these amps listed in there. Okay, here's a page from the 1978 Car Stereo Buyer's Guide from Audio Magazine. As you can see, PR220 retailed for $109.95 and the PR250 $199.95. There's the specs, 20 watts per channel for the 220, 50 for the PR250, THD.05. What are we saying yes to? Bass and treble controls, yes. That's really about all. These amps were not bridgeable. Uh, they were just stereo amplifiers. Okay, this is 1979 buyer's guide. As you can see, the price has gone up. The uh, 220 has gone up by $10 to 119 and the 250 has gone up by $50 to 249 And it may be because it, come, it uh, came with the preamp um, in 79. I'm not sure about 78. But anyway, there are all the specs. Plus eight, up to plus 18 dB for the bass and the treble. Again, not bridgeable. So let me show you an overview of the amps themselves. Okay, first up we'll show up the Fosgate PR220. And those of you who have seen my video with the um, Punch 40 slider, you'll notice that this looks very familiar as far as the low frequency, high frequency, the slider controls for the bass and treble. This was actually um, the pre-Punch 40, so this may have been the original Punch 40, but it was not called that. It's called the PR220 by Fosgate Electronics. Had a hand scratched in serial number. Uses a 5 amp uh, fast blow fuse. And that's, that's interesting there. It asks for 14.5 volts instead of uh, 12. Anyway, I've not hooked this amp up. This is just really for show. So these amplifiers did not have RCA inputs. Um, speaker level inputs was really the only way to go. They did not have, to my knowledge, RCA inputs in cars um, yeah, before the early 80s. Okay, and here's the PR250 Type 2 which I believe was 79 just prior to 80. It may have been 80 because uh, there were some PR250s that actually said Rockford Fosgate on them. So this is um, probably a late 70s or right at 1980 before Rockford purchased uh, Fosgate and came with a PR250 Type 2 um, dash mounted uh, volume control low and high frequency so that was kind of like an early version of a preamp and as you can see again no RCAs um, these DIN connections had to be made with the special cables that came with them which I don't have and they had to go into um, probably had to splice your speaker level outputs from your radio from your tape deck or your 8 track no CD players back then friends so I'll give you a little demo here of the uh, amp I say demo I'll just walk you around it I'm going to actually flip it over show you the bottom not a whole lot going on the speaker outputs are here on a Molex plug and there's the plus and minus connections and it says that it passed the final test, which is good. And on this side is the uh, connection for the DIN plug for the preamp, which would come from this jewel. 
it would just be that that DIN plug that would go from here back to the amp. So there you have it, a very brief uh, overview of some early Fosgate punch amplifiers from the late 1970s. These are true old school. I hope you enjoyed this overview. Please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone you know, even people you don't like. More people subscribe mean more videos I'll bring to you. This is Big D, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Thanks for watching. See ya.